morning, for this session, we will go through graphs of polynomial functions. Now, we have here, let's start with the end behaviors. So, take note, you have there up, up. You will be given an even degree and a positive leading coefficient. Another end behavior is down, down. It's still an even degree, but this time, the leading coefficient is negative. We have down, up. It's an odd degree, and you are having a positive leading coefficient for that. For up-down, you have there an odd degree still, but it's a negative leading coefficient. Now, when you talk about uh, the up-up behavior, so meaning that's going up. I'm going to give you just an example of a graph. So, there you go. This is an example of an up, up, and behavior. When you say down, down, like for example this. This is a down, down, and behavior. When I say down, up, so starting with down, then you go up. So, this side is going down. The other, the right side is going up. When they say up, down, the left side is going up. And the right side is going down. So those are just examples of end behaviors in the graphs. Okay? Now, to have more explanation on this, let's begin with this first one. Roots or zeros, by the way. So before having the g different graphs, let's have the roots or zeros first. Because when you have an even multiplicity, when you say even multiplicity, your root is repeating, meaning um, twice, four times, six times. So meaning the, the exponent of your factor there is even. That's one when you say there is an even multiplicity. So take note, the, but the roots are coming from the factors. You were able to get the zeros or the roots from its factors. If the factor has an even exponent, for example, x minus 2 squared, or you can also have x plus 4 raised to 6. So take note, 2 is even, 6 is even. So you're going to have an even multiplicity there. So, you will be having the graph now touches the x-axis. So, if ever, example, if this is your, so, if this is the root, na it touches, so meaning it will just go there. It will not intersect. It will only touch. Or, you can have the other side, dependent as a given equation nato. So, that is what you mean by Touches. This is touching. That is touching at this point, at this point. So that's what you mean by even multiplicity. When I say odd multiplicity, like for example, I'm going to have roots. The factors are x plus 1 cubed. Or I can also have x minus 1. So take note, we have an imaginary one already there. So meaning, those factors having no exponent on it, automatically that is odd multiplicity. Okay? Now, what happens to the graph? It intersects the x-axis. For example, this is now our Cartesian plane. So, if ever the root is an odd or has an odd multiplicity, like for this one, uh, this is an example of kidney. This point has an odd multiplicity. This point has an odd multiplicity. This one has an odd multiplicity, meaning the exponent of your factor is odd or it is repeating odd number of times. Now, to have more explanation on this, 
let's have our first example. Now look at this one. I have already made an, a polynomial function there. Our polynomial function, we have f of x is equal to x cubed minus 3x plus 2. And I made use of Desmos to graph this. So I was able to have this graph. Now, considering the end behavior, look at the end behavior. This is... So without graphing, without even graphing, you will be able to determine its end behavior. What is the degree of your polynomial function? Uh, section, uh, what's the degree here? Class, what's the degree? 3. Okay. The degree is 3, and 3 is odd. Okay? So take note, when it's odd, it will have opposite direction. One is going up, the other one is going down. But the problem is, is it up-down or down-up? Now, you take a look at the leading coefficient now. What's the leading coefficient? 1. And what's the sign of the leading coefficient? It's positive. So take note, it's 1 and it's positive. So meaning, the end behavior here is down, up. Just like what I presented a while ago. If, it's, if the degree is odd and the leading coefficient is positive, it's expected that you'll have an end behavior down, up. Okay? Now, this time, let's go to the factors. Now, I have already factored this. I made use of synthetic division and the different factoring rules. And these are your factors. Okay? So, take note, huh? I have already factored this. And I made use of the synthetic division and also the different factoring techniques. And I was able to get these factors here. So what are my zeros or roots now? now? Let's start with the first root. For x plus 2. When you say x plus 2, what's the root there? Negative 2. Okay. And what's the multiplicity? Okay, I have written there negative 2 multiplicity 1. But I can see that it is an odd multiplicity. And take note, when I say odd multiplicity, it intersects the x-axis. Look at our graph now. Uh, this is 0, this is negative 1, and this is negative 2. It intersects the x-axis. Okay? Now, let's go to the other 0. Considering x minus 1 now. Oh, what's your root there if you're given x minus 1? And what's the multiplicity? No, no, no. What's the multiplicity? What's the exponent? 2. So you have here positive 1, multiplicity 2. And take note, it has an even multiplicity. Therefore, it touches the x-axis. Now, look at our graph. It touches the x-axis. Okay, mauman ni siya to ang 1, this part here. So, that is now our graph, and that's how you interpret the graph of this function. Okay? Let's have another example. This one. Okay, let's begin. What is the degree of your polynomial function? Okay, the degree is 3 and it is still odd. So the degree is 3, it's odd. Now, what is the leading coefficient? Negative 1 and it's negative. Okay, so take note, the leading coefficient is negative 1. Okay, now, what is our end behavior? It shows here that if we are not going to graph this, we will expect that our end behavior is what? Up, down, up, down. Oh, look at our graph. It's up, down. Okay? 
So without even graphing, you can determine the end behavior by just simply looking at the degree and the leading coefficient, the sign of it. Now next, let's get the factors. And now late uh, a while ago, I made factoring on this. I made use of synthetic division and also the different factoring methods, and I was able to get these factors. So let's begin. What is the first root or zero? Let's start with positive 3. How do you write x plus 3 there? Yeah, yes, negative 3. That's correct. Negative 3, multiplicity 1. What about this, the, uh, the interpretation in our graph? What will happen here? Will it touch or will it, will it intersect? Look at the multiplicity. It's an odd multiplicity. When you see, it intersects. An odd multiplicity intersects the x-axis. Now look at negative 3. This is now negative 3. And it shows that it intersects negative 3 in the x-axis. Okay? Now, let's go to the second factor. x minus 1. The root there is 1, and the multiplicity is 2. Uh, and then, you are having an even multiplicity. It touches the x-axis. And look at our graph here. This is positive 1. And it really touches the x-axis. So that's how you interpret graphs of polynomial functions. Okay? Let's have another one. Another graph. So we have here, let's determine our degree. What's the degree here? It's 4. And it's even now. And what is our leading coefficient? It's 1 and it's positive 1. So expect that your end behavior is up, up. So that's why our graph here is up, up. Okay? Now let's continue. The factors. A while ago, I factored this already. Okay? And the factors are x squared x plus 1, x minus 2 squared. Now, I'm going to be starting with the root for this, getting x plus 1. And you will be having negative 1 for that, and the multiplicity is 1. Okay? For this one, it's an odd multiplicity. Oh, look at negative 1 on the x-axis. It simply intersects because the multiplicity is odd for negative 1. Now, if I'm going to be having 0 here, the 0 here comes from this one. When I have x squared alone, the root there or the 0 there is simply the number 0. Because you don't have plus or minus like x plus 2 or x minus 2. So automatically, if it's only x in your factor, like x squared, x, or x cubed, the 0 there is 0 or the root is 0. And you will have a multiplicity of 2 for that. You'll have a multiplicity of 2 for that. So take note, that's an even multiplicity. And look at our graph. It touches zero. Okay? Now, I'm um, going to have another one. By the way, this is not two. This is not two, by the way. I have a correction for that. It's simply x minus two only. So take note, the factors are x squared, x plus one, and x minus two. Now, you have here two for this, and the multiplicity is 1. 
It's an odd multiplicity. Therefore, look at our graph. It intersects the x-axis. Now, let's have our last example. Look at our last example. So, we have here our graph. And let's try to uh, analyze the graph there. So, the degree is 4. It's even. The leading coefficient, it's negative 1. It's negative 1. And it's negative. Therefore, you're going to have an end behavior of down, down. Now, considering the factors now, now, previously, I factored this already. I made use of synthetic division and also the different factoring methods there. And I was able to get these factors here. Okay? So, I have here x plus 1 cubed and x minus 2. Okay? So, let's start with negative 1. Where did I get negative 1? It's I got this over x plus 1. So, considering the factor x plus 1, the root is simply negative 1. And the multiplicity is 3. So, take note, 3 is odd. Therefore, it intersects the x-axis. Look at our graph. It intersects at negative 1. Now, next. The second factor, x minus 2, that's simply 2, multiplicity 1. And that's still an odd multiplicity, and it will still intersect the x-axis. Now, let's have a recap on all the things that we have mentioned a while ago. Again, and behavior. Oh, who can give me the degree and the sign of the leading coefficient of an up, up, and behavior. What's the degree of an up, up, and behavior? Even. Okay. And then, positive leading coefficient. Correct. What about a down, down, and behavior? It's an... It's still an even. It's still an even. So that, this is the thing that we'll always remember. If they have the same direction, the same direction, the degree is even. But it will matter on the leading coefficient. Both are up, up if it's positive leading coefficient. Both are down, down if, if you're having a negative leading coefficient. So take note of that. If, the, if it's an even degree, it will be having the same direction. Up, up, it's positive leading coefficient. Down, down, negative leading coefficient. Next, down, up. Down, up is what? Odd. Uh, don't worry, this is recorded. I will be uploading this later after our class, okay? And then, you have a positive leading coefficient for that. Then you have up, down, and that's still an odd degree, negative leading coefficient. So take note of the end behaviors, okay? Oh, tanawa sa ninyo, look at this. Odd, odd, opposite direction. Positive, down, up. Negative, up, down. Now let's go to the roots or the zeros. If you have an even multiplicity, what happens here? Will it touch or will it intersect? Even multiplicity. Intersect or touches. Asa man jud? Touches ang even. Uy. So take note, even multiplicity touches the x-axis. Odd multiplicity intersects the x-axis. Okay, any question regarding our lesson for this morning? Is everything clear now?